By the way, uh, uh, Cyrus, Catherick, Catherick, Cyrus. Hello. We'll see if we can get things to work. Oh, I can barely hear you. I don't know why. I'm using a new computer. Um, check your settings um, in Discord sometimes. Um, that is actually what's doing it. It can lower your output. Or completely forget what mic you're using, even though you haven't changed it in years. Yeah. That is a thing, too. You guys are going to be seeing me eating, just so you know. I'll just be right back. Okay. Okay, what about now? That's better. Cool. Hello. All right. Since uh, conversation has kind of died down, shall we play some B and D? Let's do it. Play some B and D. All right. It's good. All right. Previously on Bears and Dragons, what happened last time? We lived. <laughs> we breathed. We ate pies. The pies. We went and uh, met some uh, disgusting dragons. Listen here, watch your tone. Well, you cannot tell me they were, they had disgusting behaviors. They had actually they actually acted pretty decently to comparative to what they could have been. You're right. They tried to put some bupuri in their shit. So. There's that. <laughs> uh, but we did meet with the Council of the Metallic Dragons. Yep. Um, we They did offer to help us go up against the Cult of the Dragons in returns for a list of favors to be returned. Um, mostly getting apologies from different uh, um, uh, races for doing shit, uh, something or another. Um, one dragon wants a nice, expensive, magical item. 
Um, another one wants a frost sack from an, uh, a no. breath sack from a the next dragon we kill. Because apparently the frost sack that we just harvested was not enough. It was uh, not fresh enough. And the other and one, another wanted us to hand it over all the dragon masks that we find. Yeah. Which would kind of be hard to do before. Well, maybe we'll come up upon some beforehand. But. You you take that in certain uh, circumstances. <laughs> it, if the if you make the promise that you will hand them over, in the case that that is the concession, and as long as you fulfill that, they won't be mad at you afterwards. But that would be still as hey, if that's a good, if you're like a hey, okay, you can take them. Take them, and you know everybody else who's participating in this event uh, uh, agrees to give them to the metallics. Very good. Keep in mind, you you you, you are the only ones here, and you've been assigned from an entire council of uh, leadership from across of Faerun. Um. Kriv would also probably realize that another thing that would definitely help out is if there's a share of share of the horde. You know, when you kill a dragon, you get to loot the horde, right? Well, there's going to be many, many factions there. So just kind of like tack them in as one of those factions. Like get their share. You know, you can you can easily bribe. It's like, hey, defeat Tiamat. You help us defeat Tiamat. There's going to be a nice big horde there. Mm -hmm. There we you go. You have a share, you know. That That's more of a general concession. Yeah. And they would probably have get their get their their portion of the horde, and then they would have to split them up between them. And obviously, if you find other ways of convincing bribing the metallics to join that they might be able to prove the favorite that they haven't mentioned might be a good idea so uh, in conclusion of your meeting um It is, you can uh, head back and you you could either use a teleport helm or uh, Elia uh, had an offer to fly you back if you wanted to see the sights on the way back as well. However you want to return to, to Waterdeep. Uh, we already had returned to Waterdeep and then... Um... Call for a council meeting. Try to uh, try to go and call for a council meeting to talk with all the leaders and stuff to see if, as a starting point to getting the apologies, some of the dragons required. All in all, we're probably gonna have to deal with. The elf and the dwarf, the assholes, and not wanting to apologize because they have pride. Um, you get a trying to go, you make some contacts, you even talk to Leos and in um, most of the representatives have turned back uh, home. Um, they won't be having another meeting for uh, for quite some time. I suggest uh, making your Taking on any current other missions that you may have, have I know you were recommended going to the Misty elf. Forest. Yeah, we're going to see the Elf Forest. So at yeah. the same time, yeah, it was worth a try. We could just go and pressure the the health um, monarch. Yeah, 
I guess that would be the. Uh... Sounds like a good thing. I like thing. that idea. Yeah, it okay. sounds good. We were going there anyway, so you know. Uh, don't just want to take a quick pause, quick, because Cubby Boy is back. Um, everyone want to wish him a happy birthday, because Tuesday was his birthday. Ah, uh, happy, happy, oh. happy belated birthday. Thank you. If you didn't think I was going to say something, Cubby, <laughs> you, you wrong. It's Cubby yes, birthday. Okay. It was. It was on Tuesday. Oh, happy birthday, little one. Happy birthday to you, Cyrus. Happy birthday oh wait, to Cyrus. wait. Can you? He turned seven. <laughs> That's like seven in Dragon Years. <laughs> it's like a baby, <laughs> like a month old in Dragon Years. <laughs> Well, it's, it, technically at six years, if you were, you were actually a fall dragon, you're only a mini dragon right now. Uh, exactly. You, you would actually be considered a young dragon, be a, a large size. <gasps> really? Can I be that? No. You big boy. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, activate my camera just for Cubby Boy for one. Keep it PG. It's covered. There we go. <laughs> I just have to verify something. Where's my clip? I was trying other songs today. Oh, there it is. We pause for celebrating a or meeting Dragon's birthday. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. And I forgot the rest. My <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank yeah. you. With, with your, your... You got, you got like it's, the thought, uh, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, yeah. you part. started it. You started it. We kind of... <laughs> um. And, and, and you're not well. No, definitely not. You're, well, you're thank you. Worse than normal. Anyways. So you got you got three notes of my new heart that I just received. Oh, first awesome. roll of the night and that 20. <sighs> nice. <clears throat> Doesn't mean anything for the game, but it's just the first roll of the day. Yeah. It's something to celebrate. Mm hmm. Woo! Let's celebrate. That's so nice. <clears throat> so, so, you guys teleported, right? You didn't fly. No, yeah. Because we, we, we wanted to get back as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, so we can get things rolling. And we don't need to bother the, the dragon for it. Um, but actually, just for the, the sake of it, uh, I'm going to give the um, teleport helm to uh, Zinderlove. Since I think he still have an attunement slot. And... He would now, because of the key being gone. Yeah. And if there's one person that needs to survive, it, it can always be the the cleric who can could technically teleport thirty five meters away. Leave the rest of us to die. Yes, but mm -hmm. at the same time, as long as we haven't been killed in the last seven days, he can just come back and be like doop a doop a doop. Well, you also have a, have a well. Uh... 
somebody would would make sure that his husband didn't stay dead um and you also have a patron with a pretty powerful player yeah. and you have a cyrus who will somehow deal th with things it is known because my hubby is pretty powerful so <laughs> He is a clarion of bio. So, Kriv will probably appreciate this the most, but I spoiled myself today. And I got a D&D folio. Yay. Book. Nice. To put your sheets on in? Yeah. It has, like, transparent sheets and then card slots for, like, spell cards. Yeah. Ooh, nice. nice. And then it has, like, a notepad in the back. Nice. It's really cool. Yeah, it is actually pretty nice. Can't wait for my, my uh, regular game to start up with meeting. Because I, I don't mind... There he is. I don't mind Roll20 and online stuff, but mm -hmm. in person D&D, in, in it's just not the same. It's true. Oh, I mean, any goblin can understand the fact that the click clack math math rocks cannot be thrown on online. It's just not. The I same. beg to differ. It's just not the same. The shiny math rocks. All right. You probably didn't see that, but it rolled dice for me. I I know. Um, we we can all. Enable them. I do not have the 3D dice uh, activated because that can be uh, annoying to my uh, computer. Oh, okay. All right, so you're in town. Uh, I'm assuming you basically. Provided a list of the um, metallics terms. <laughs> yeah. 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 To Leosin to at least have them on hand and to probably be brought up during the next um, council meeting. Council meeting. And so the next step is uh, seeing about the uh, heading off to the Misty Forest. Yeah. Okay, Ed Sheeran, keep it for yourself. That's not Ed Sheeran. It was much better than Ed Sheeran. Right. Oh yeah, oh, yeah guys, it's not Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Misty Mountain. That's that's Tolkien. It's for, for a song. It's also a song. It's, it's, Misty Mountain is very generic. I was going off the Lord Hobbit? of the Rings. Uh, yeah, I was going off the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Misty I'd, Mountain. Yeah, I See Fire. Misty Mountain, uh, the Misty Mountain song that is in The Hobbit was, uh, was made for this, uh, the, um, the movie by Head Sheeran. Not written, but sing it. Interpret it. I'll be right back. I go get me some water. All right. But it doesn't mind. But the, it's a, it's a nice song. And it was a ginger reference. So, you know. I was hitting two bear one stone. You doing that? I have something to show you guys on. I, I posted on uh, Discord. The best way to get yourself a bear, Cyrus. <laughs> it's pretty funny. 
I don't know by where you're gonna pick up that one, but you know. I'm sure you're gonna do a pretty great job with that dragon. Uh, that bear. I mean. <laughs> okay. okay. So you remember that uh, Delon uh, Winterhound, uh, who uh, from the Emerald Enclave had had spoken to you about the uh, Draconic Incursions, which Kethrick uh, actually uh, helped some people escape from some of them. Uh, that was why he was brought to the council to join your team. Uh, by the way, Cyrus, uh, uh, Ketsuk is an orc ranger. You probably hey. saw his picture in Dick's Discord. <laughs> in Dick's yes, Discord. Yes, I did. That Very beefy fancy. orc. That beefy orc. <laughs> Not my orc. Thickums. A certified thickums. But, uh, okay, it's not your art. But is that how Ketsuk looks? That's how I visualize him. Okay, um, so he's a thickums. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See, I told you, certified <laughs> thickums. If Kriv wasn't a married man, and same with Kribus, been I mean, all over. Cyrus that. is single, but I don't know how he feels about dragons. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, if if Kribus and Kriv agreed. Things could be had. Yeah, okay. <laughs> not, well, I wouldn't say that you, the Kribus and Kriv are necessarily fully monogamous, you know. There's just ground, there's ground rules. There's ground rules, yeah. Which is completely fair. I mean, before before Kribus uh, uh, got together with Kriv, yeah, uh, he was a slut, man. Can't say the same for Kriv, because before he, uh, Kribus, Kriv was a dragon. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> he did dragon, like, he did dragon things. Like, you don't count that as being a slut, that's just being a dragon. Uh, it, well, you have to consider the time, uh, uh, uh between dragon and Kribus. Yeah, and he was still being an emo little punk kid because he was moody. Trunk half the time at the bar, at the Iron Bear bar. That's how Krebus met Kriv. Because he's fucking regular. Mm -hmm. uh, and the only way he knew about the Iron Bear uh, uh, bar was the fact that uh, Krebus uh, tried hitting on him in the middle of the shift in the city watch. Catherick, there's a whole story to this. <laughs> We, we we have flushed this story out. <laughs> I'll catch up. Yeah, considering we uh, we put time into great this. Scribus, Scribus from my my currently Wednesday night Shannon's game. Anyway, it's the same but different. Same but different. Yeah. Uh, where were we? So. Uh, Delon uh, uh, recommends that says that he has agents scattered uh, throughout the Misty Forest, and he wants you to travel to one of the uh, dragon raided settlements left standing after the aftermath, the village known as uh, Altan. Altan. Oh, let me just put that in the chat. So that would be much obliged. Because you know I gotta write this down. Alt and uh, Delon uh, also believes that the um, that uh, one of the people coordinated it might be one of the cult's worm speakers. Rude. Female dog gotta die. I'm not sure what kind of language is. Is okay, so. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with any language. Bitch, gotta die. 
Okay. Yeah, since the subscribers at all uh, alt will might be able to, to give you some more info. <clears throat> Catherick, you'll oh. find that Kriv is very much a honorable kind of like man, but he has two roles. Cult of the Dragon, everyone just gotta die. It's just how it is. And you get to live unless you attack my party, then you you forfeit your life. At that point, you chose okay. death. Protection Reasonable. Friend. Yeah. Yeah. So. Gosh, you guys are radical. We should think of other solution before bashing in. Again, he tries, unless it comes to certain things like it's Cult okay. of the Dragons. They just all gotta die. It's okay. It was a joke. They all gotta die. <laughs> you forfeit your life because you joined the Cult of the Dragon. And you forfeit your life because you try to attack my friends. So, so at yeah, one point brought in it my all life, at one point in my life, I'm gonna do a gnome with um, super minimalistic ideas on who should live and who should die. You breed, you should die. You don't breed, you should die. That is bright. Look at me, I am washed out. So. We're supposed to go to whom's forest, the big one? The Misty Forest, which I'm trying to see if it's on the map. I think it's the big one. Not? No, that's the high forest. Okay. Oh, well, it's somewhere in the north. Is it even on this map? Maybe it's not on this map. I need a bigger map. Yes, that's... Eh, I'm just going to be washed out. Oh, well. No, washed out Kriv. No, washed out Dustin. <laughs> There's a difference. Yeah. When is super handsome and when is a dragonborn? <laughs> uh, they both are super handsome. Like, hmm, I got someone to draw Kriv. That's awesome. <clears throat> Not sure how long it's going to take, but process has started. Highmore Western Heartlands. Let's see anything? Is this Highmore? Is this? Oh. That's what that is. Okay. They just don't work it on the map. Just west of the high moors. Oh, is it this? Really? It's this. It's this tiny little one over here. Yeah, because we were just. Really? Because what? Each... That might have been a like something that would have gone on. You, you probably could have done this on the way. <laughs> the, the last one, almost. Yeah, I was about to say like, weren't we just like right here? We were down here. I thought and we. Were... It, and it's this huh. forest. It's a, <laughs> this forest. Oh, but we've been we've been really close to this forest before. Multitudes right? of times. Multitudes of times. So many like going to Waterdeep. Like technically, we've, going been, to... we've been there. Yeah. Can we just teleport there and go inside the forest? It's 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 not that far. It's like what, what is it? Here's Waterdeep. That's all right. This map isn't doing it right. That is not twenty two. Twenty two. It's in days. Oh, where's where's my? Where's it's I in my scale house. on the map. I know it's not there. I think the map scale wasn't made right. It's okay. It's a tiny, tiny. It's it's a tiny place. 
Uh, you can tell. You can probably teleport back to Krebus' you think you and all the times. Head down south to the to the, to the misty forest. Oh, Jesus. Forest of pine and and other evergreens covers covers the slopes of the western approaches to the high moor. Gets its name because of the mists and fogs which creep down from the high moor. Uh, making navigation difficult on even the best of days. Do you fair up? So we need to go to Halt Hand. Let's yep. go to Halt Hand. Yeah, that's the Misty Forest, all right. And now I'll confuse because I thought it was more to the north, but. Guess not. Ouch. So, yeah, we've passed that, what, like. Two times? Yeah, but it was like a couple miles in from the tradeway. Still. Went around. You've been doing some teleportation, so. But you could either, if anything, teleport closer, or you could actually just take the tradeway down past Daggerford and go in. It takes a little longer than teleportation, but at least you could keep your mounts. Um, Marshawk's tail. That was just a, like that was just a regular glaive, right? Like the only special part of it was because of the damage the scale gave it, the bulwark gave it, right? Right. Okay. Making sure. Yeah, it's a, Marshawk's tail is technically not a just diamond, a glaive. It, it, it's just the the what the glaive becomes when the shield is activated. Nice. So it really could be any. It's what the weapon, the bulwark, is attached to becomes. Right. So. Okay. With the, the appropriate dice changing based off of the weapon type. Uh, so you head down down to the misty forest. Uh, you're. Uh, Escorted and actually, uh, Kessler could probably easily lead you to Alt Hand. Um, the what else, Settlement? Uh, you, you for most of you probably wouldn't miss it, but Kessler knows exactly where it is because he's been here before. <laughs> um, it, it exists on two levels with a few structures built on the ground around some ancient monuments uh, to what looks to be like some sort of oven ranger. Uh, these are have actually looked like they've been uh, damaged and toppled. Uh, or has been damaged and toppled, possibly because of the, the attack. Uh, residents in the village temple are built in the upper boughs of the forest. The offices have strong uh, rope bridges between the sites. And uh, they construct circular walkways around the trees. Interesting. Uh, the city has uh, looks like it has a it has um, several people uh, still cleaning up after the mess. Um, uh, some people have been, and uh, it looks like they're still working on burying. Or um, actually, how how would they be doing this? Carefully uh, providing funeral rites for many of the people. Um, they would be able to even even tell you that uh, how bad it was was. That um, 
that the uh, dragon's poisonous breath um, had gotten most of the people who were currently on the upper level. And some fell from um, the collapse of bridges, walkways, um, especially under the weight of panic of the, the attack. So, a lot of them were poisoned? You said? Like, they mm -hmm. die from the... Okay. So, more than likely dealing with the green dragon. At, well, at least at one point. Because, uh, yeah, green's... Yeah, green is poison. Black is acid. Yep. Um, yeah. So I believe copper dragons, but... Nope. We're dealing with... We're de dealing with the chromatic, so... Yeah. There is there is only one uh, of the between metallics and chromatics. There is only one that breathes poison. And that's yep. the greens. None. Ooh, of I the, don't know that. None of the metallics breathe poison, which is, in my opinion, kind of dumb. But you know, actually, kind of. I sense. think it makes sense. It does make sense. Well, I do think they should have had a counterpart, but you know, yeah. Um. Seeing all this, I know Kriv would uh, go and help provide funeral rites um, using ceremony wherever he could. I'm going to set up a soup shop. Soup counter. To, you, like... you find some people uh, already essentially doing a, a similar thing. You go to help them out. Yeah. Are there any still like wounded and stuff like could, like that Kriv can go and also help like cure poison with? Um, it's been several days since the last attack. Uh, since the, the yeah the last attack, um, so they're pretty stabilized. It's they're just in recovery mode. Okay. Uh, it's just it based off of what you can find is that. Of the about 300 residents of the village, about half of them survived the raid. Who's the, um, who seems to be in charge? Um, one of the villagers, uh, if you ask them, uh, says that, uh, well, the priest of the village was dead. The village's warden, Galen, has become the leader of Altund. How many days since the last uh, the the attack? Uh, it's been about a week. Oh, okay, so yeah, they're definitely still one of many people. So, um, more okay. than a week, or a bit less than a week. I would I, I would say, yeah, I would say it was probably a ten day ago. So. I'm going to ask, um, so he pointed me to someone saying he took the, the place in, uh, um, instead? Yeah, the uh, village's warden, uh, Galen. Okay, and um, I'm going to ask Zindelov if there's um, any of the higher-ups of the city he, can, he could try to uh, raise up. Maybe there's still something to do. Um, I don't really have enough materials to do that. Not for everyone. Yeah. Uh, so he, he just has enough to, in case what each of us dies, wants to oh. raise us. Just because yeah. of the cost of it. No. Yeah, it, it, if I spent this. No, you're right. And plus, I believe that uh, I suppose not all the priests will be able to do it, but but it, it, it has it, also been ten days. It also probably comes down to material costs. Like, investing a village of this size couldn't even possibly afford the kind of material needed to raise dead. Yeah, we're like right at the cusp of. Um, yeah, because I believe Raised Dead is within 10 days. Yeah. That's why I was asking. Uh...
Well, no, it's okay. Makes sense. Um, I'm gonna try to do some chit chat if they if they seen in which direction the they went. And uh, Kriv's gonna try to gather as much information as he could can while. Um, like from the healers and priests and stuff while he goes <coughs> around trying to administer uh, funeral rites and try to see if anyone needs some uh, as what kind of healing he can do. Yeah, I'm going to try to figure out uh, what happened. Like, why was this particular settlement treated differently? Did you say someone had a... Uh like a food um station up. yep 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 Catholic is going to try to go get some food okay they got plenty Cyrus will definitely go with Crave yeah, and so what are you at? I mean you can ask the people whatever you want to ask them um, well, what do we know of the other settlement? Why why would were we sent this one in particularly? I think it was just the most recent one attacked. Of all the different settlements, it was the recent, most recent one attacked. Oh, okay. I think we were told. Um, Kriv's going to just go ahead and try to ask him, like, uh, but I think outside part of... of... Part of go it ahead. is, is Del, uh, Delon... Uh, suggested here because it's like it's been happening all over the misty forest well where do you start yeah he, he suggested checking here okay um but chris gonna just go ask like besides the fact of the dragon attacks because have those those have been kind of most recently like recent uh changes and everything right like how long have the dragon attacks been going on? Uh, since probably about a week after you left for the Sea of Moving Eyes. Okay. Um, um, it's probably been a month or two. Uh, um. See if any of the survivors would have noticed anything out of the you ordinary leading up to the beginning of the attacks um strange sounds lights oh anything. correction correction it, it was probably within a 10 day after uh you captured skyreach okay so it's probably been about yeah so about a month two months two two to three months actually it's just after you got that things started getting worse all right um, see if anyone, like, noticed anything, uh, before, if they anyone remembered anything outside of the normal, um, before the attacks happened, be it sounds, lights, oddity, animals acting differently, of uh, whatnot, um, just anything that is, was outside the use before the attacks. See if something, like, there was possible something that could have... Signaled something going starting. Because normally, like there would be signs. I would uh, think they have been because this has happened so recently. Um, it's been happening for for a while overall, but uh, mm -hmm. this particular attack happened just recently. Um, they have been on alert for something. But it's just they had heard rumors of or heard of the other attacks around the Misty Forest and they've just been more on alert watching for it. Um but in general, not like kinda of just thinking like like not just this attack, but like before the rumors of the attacks began, if anyone noticed. Anything out of the ordinary? Okay. Nope. Um. Um. 
probably I'm gonna be occupied with uh, the food the food stamp. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna shout to Crev if he can uh, pass the, the the boss of the place if he has or his people has any information about um, like what like what the dragon looked like. Or uh, we know it's a green one, and, but like any it, details about it. Yeah, is it a natural one, a young one, an elder one? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, was it a loan? Definitely, they'll definitely go about trying to ask that kind of information to see if anyone was able to, during the attack, glimpse the actual dragon. Uh, oh. Most, uh, let's see. Actually... I know a lot of them probably wouldn't have seen it, but probably only... there's... Yeah, it, for the most part, you find that both of the survivors had fled as soon as the attack started, uh, and and didn't see much. Um, but roll me a roll me a d one hundred. Yeah, most of the people that you rode into, uh, uh, they heard the dragon, but they didn't really see it. They they caught glimpses, but really couldn't come, uh, really catch much detail to, to give you any idea of what it was. It's worth a try. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, um, all right, so... Any um, other information you would like to ask the villagers? If any of they them, they seem know pretty. It, it 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 doesn't seem like you really need to do like any sort of persuasion or charisma checks or anything. They're they're very open to giving you information. They can tell that we're here to help and well, take um, care of this. In that, it's case, more so just figuring out the right questions to ask. Yeah. In, in that case, since I don't have, I, I don't mind being blunt. <laughs> I'm just going to go see the bus and be like, yeah, do you or any of your people seen where they went or any yeah, that kind of information? Most of the people will, will say, well, it's the Misty Forest. They just kind of like attacked and scattered into the mist. No, I'm talking about the dragon. Dragon probably just flew away at some point. But like, Yeah, flew off what? into the mist and left. Was it just the dragon or was the dragon in like other creatures and or people um yeah was there was there a, a mage with them or something yeah there were humans in the regalia of the cult of the dragon followed the dragon uh, uh okay. all of those they found so if you're just asking to describe the attack yeah the dragon swooped down and attacked on the ground first Nearly half of the village's victims died during that first assault. Uh, humans in the regalia of the Cult of the Dragon followed the dragon, killing all of those all those they found. The village's priest stepped out to lead others in fighting the dragon, but, well, the beast swallowed him whole. Mm. Oh my. Uh, ask, asking there's a bunch of different people you find that some of those survivors claim to have seen uh, cultists riding the top. Most of those referred to the dragon rider as human, like the other cultists. Um, you do had, have a few of them think that the figure moved with the grace of an elf. Wait, right. wait, wait, sorry. Like, th there was a dragon rider? Yeah, there was a dragon rider. There was somebody on the dragon riding it. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a minute! Wait a minute! So you're gonna see, you're also gonna see Frederica be excited, be like, "Ooh, this one is gonna be exciting!" Like, kind and like, Crib just be like, oh, "What okay. else? What else?" <laughs> yeah, like. Well, gonna... do do remember that you all of you rode a silver dragon to the yeah. dragon's moot. Yeah, but riding a dragon for transport and riding a dragon for combat is not the same thing. Uh, with the priest dead, the village's warden Galen has become the leader of all time. 
Um, some of them mentioned that though he was in the thick of the fight, he survived unscathed and has been a potent force of rallying, but it has been a potent force for rallying survivors. Can I judge the the strength of Ga- of um, Galen? Uh, the attack lasted only a short while when the dragon unexpectedly retreated. Uh, the cultists followed, but as they fled, they took nothing of value for, from the village. What? This... That doesn't <laughs> make sense. Actually, it... <laughs> to me, what? this sounds like a test run. No. Like something they were must have, no something must have went wrong. Exactly, but like okay, they didn't take they just attacked a random village that doesn't seem of any significance as of yet. Didn't take anything or whatnot. The dragon had a rider for combat, which we both know that is it's it's a it it's a different thing compared to riding for transport that the dragon is willing to do something like that, but for combat it's a little different. Um <laughs> To me, it just... It screams that they were test-running something. Like, it was it was, it was, was a trial to see if something worked. And even if they retreated or something, maybe that was a fail. Or it was a short test, and what they were trying to test was successful. But this is not the motus apparentis of the cult. They were trying to gather horde for, for Tiamat. This makes no sense that they're not they haven't captured it any doesn't treasure. doesn't it doesn't mean there isn't other thing it, it's not their sole thing yes it's their big overall objective type thing but there can be small things that they're trying to do otherwise um can so, i can i judge the um the strength of the uh of galen like to be in the thick of a fight and be unscathed uh, the, 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 one of the villagers points you over to where his residence is and stepping from the modest dwelling suspended by iron strung boughs uh, well actually would direct you where he is because you can't see him he's like in his, in his place so if you go to see him yeah, stepping, uh... <laughs> stepping into a modest dwelling suspended among iron strung boughs uh Strong files. Uh You enter a cozy sitting room. A slim elf sits at a desk, standing to greet you with a forced smile as a raven perched in a nearby cage uh, calls uh, hideously. Uh, welcome to our village. Uh, how can I be of service? Well, I'm, I'm probably uh, um, signal to uh, Kriv. To be with me, just to make sure that I don't say stupid stuff, you know? <laughs> Yo, no, uh, Kriv would have already gone with you. Good. So, he, I'm gonna be like... By this time, he just knows. <laughs> yeah, and can I, like I said, can I try to, like, investigate his strength? Or, like, uh, how how can he be unscathed? Is that that's the weirdest part? Like, even I wouldn't be on skate in the middle of a, of he, a thick fight. He seems like an elvish version of uh, a sheriff in the Old West. <laughs> so the best shady. thing that I could do. That I could do. Like, so he's shady. He's... Like, like in a good way. Like, like he's he's there as the warden, um, except he's an elf. So, while I would say he would he would have a burly build, he's an elf. So, burly build for an elf. <laughs> he's a twink with muscles, <laughs> essentially. He's seen and, a and he's ears. seen a bench press. He's seen a bench press, but. He not as often as gym. someone else, like an actual gym person would have. He's seen the bench press, the bench press from a distance. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna one of those. Press. I'm gonna. We've have all seen a happen. bench press from a distance. Come on now. But I mean, it, yeah, like, like for the pulleys that they, they, they use for 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 like 
uh, pulling things up uh, up from the bottom of the forest up into to the tree line the level of the cities. So he, he's he's probably he could probably do one of those uh, himself. He's 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 buff for an elf. Okay. So I'm gonna say uh, blatantly, Galen. If I if I heard correctly, you're oh, you're leading the village for now since the priest is uh, dead. Well, I, I just, I just kind of, I'm it, it just seemed kind of natural. Uh, yeah. as, as soon as it was, we needed to get a little bit of order in the place. All to your honor, but there's something that rubs me the wrong way. No insult in, uh, intended, but how come did you come out unscathed of a fight with a dragon? Well, well I just think I've done it out of the way. It, 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 I, I was lucky, I guess. There's a, there's a, oh god, there is a, a limit of luck you can get. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 look, I, it, it, look, my wife died dur during this raid. I mean, I did my best to protect as many people as I can, and I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't save my wife. I, I guess I, I just must have uh, just jumped out of the out of the way, uh, and, and uh, of all the right times. Again, I'm just, just lucky. Don't worry. It's not. Um, it's not your fault if she's dead. You did your. You did your best. You probably saved a lot of those souls. Um, I'm just trying to to understand how come the the village was that pill, uh, pillage, and uh, and honestly, it's kind of uh, surprising. The lot of you are not all dead. I know. Very strange. And, I, yeah. I don't know what happened. All, I, all that I did was try to protect people, and I'm lucky enough not to come through. Is he saying truth? Uh, for, from what you can tell, yeah. Okay. Well, do you know when... Do you know any other details that... Hmm? Did I lose everybody? I see people talking, but I can't hear people talking. Oh no. Probably oh. just picking up his phone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Sorry. No, it's okay. I can hear people now. So if there's nothing else, uh, I'll suggest that uh, we make for the uh, the thick of the forest. Yeah. Uh, Crave, why don't you also roll inside? Alright. That means I didn't make enough. <laughs> no, I asked a, I asked a different question. Oh, I, I I think I might have for that brief moment where I didn't I wasn't hearing anybody. Oh, I whispered you something. Oh, that. Yeah. Um. Uh, no, you can't tell. Okay. But yeah, eighteen for insight. Okay. Um. One better. You you think he does admit that the when he admitted that the that his wife is killed, he it, there's something that he didn't say about that. Um, and you, you think that there's something like he he's not giving telling you everything. I'm I'm gonna call some bullshit because it's only one. It's only plus one, <laughs> or, or it's eighteen was the DC. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite, quite, and, and it is quite possible I gave you just a little bit more information uh, because you were close, um, but not giving you the whole. Can 
can like looking around like this would be there like the building that we're in, can we tell that it's um Gallon's home? Or does it more look like a business type place? Yeah, it's it's, it's it's he he had it's it's like he has a home office sort of thing. Like he, so he, it, he's sit, he's sitting at a desk. It's his desk in his home. Like there's like rooms and a little further in. Does it like? <laughs> does the place look to have a woman's touch? Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, because it, something seems off about that. Maybe it's the fact that he actually didn't have a wife, or something like that. So I'm trying to, to piece everything that could be out because I don't know what question to ask it, right now. It looks so. like this would have been a place where more than one person would have would have been living, and right now is. From what you can tell, just kind of looking around, he is the only one there. Uh, you 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 could tell that there's. You might even see like uh, uh, the, the 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 bed that on one side is a, a chest of drawers, and there's another chest of drawers. Um, it wouldn't necessarily say that they that their clothes are displayed somewhere that you could see, but it it looked like yeah, he's probably. He, you could tell that he's telling the truth that his wife was killed, so he had a wife. But he's he's withholding. But there's there's something. something that he's not telling you. Anyway, unrelevant to this, but I'm gonna ask: uh, How did she die? If there's something we can do about uh, her funerals or anything, they've already taken care of it. Was that damn dragon that did it? Oh, she served as the snack. Oh, okay, no, no, uh, a little breath. Oh, yeah, sister. That that's not something we ask. Can I cast that's, the suggestion? That's, that's pretty insensitive. Did you come with us? You sure, know I assume so. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to cast suggestion. Okay. Right. That's tell us the whole story. Um I need a wisdom save. Um, what is he? A human or an elf. So what do I have here? He's a villager. This is, this is a this is not an NPC that there is. <laughs> He's a villager. Oh. He rolled a three. <laughs> uh, so unless he has like a plus twelve or something. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's this. be kind and let's be kind and say he has a ten. Uh, uh what's the DC? Seventeen. Okay, cool. He didn't make it. Not a lot. <laughs> hey, uh, so my suggestion is going to be: Why don't you tell us what you're hiding from us? Tell us what you're hiding. You suggest a course or of activity and magically influence a creature you can see within range that can hear and understand you. Creatures that can't be charmed are immune to this effect. The suggestion must be worded in such a manner as to make the course of action sound reasonable. Ooh, Asking the okay. creature to stab itself, throw itself say, isn't, he, is, isn't he an elf? Don't elves have resistance to being charmed? Yeah. Yeah. I was supposed to say, like, that might not have worked. No. I, they I, have I, I, I'm double checking about it. Okay. If they have resistance, he's going to have uh, advantage on the die. Yeah. Which is still gonna. I, I, I just want to make sure I got everything covered. Yeah, no. Spoilers. No, it's understandable. Okay, cool. All right, he still failed. He still failed. Okay. All right. I now it's just me trying to figure out how he's gonna get word everything. Uh, how's the food? It's pretty good. I cooked it. 
Okay. He he actually Attic ended football. up taking one of the bowls of soup that the uh, that one that the elves were making. It's delicious. You've had this. You, you've had this uh, same type of stew uh, many a time. Look look at this nice twenty eight on the cooking utensils. Yeah, it's like if if people had yours, it would be delicious. It would be nothing like the food that's that's made here in the in the misty forest. Yeah, just Catherick, I'm sure prefers the local cuisine. <sighs> it's okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Home cooking versus something new. You're always going to go to home cook, like some like home food. Catholic yeah. would Comfort probably uh, uh, prefer basic stuff that you could cook from, like, animals and stuff. Which is basically what the, the wood elves are making. Yeah, you just... I'm, I probably just, like, continued to make food and, like, the, the, the next batch was just better of, of what they were doing. <laughs> The same food. I didn't. I didn't sh set up a new shop. Be like, yeah, come and get my soup. It's just <laughs> better. <laughs> Look, I prefer my own grilled cheese, not the uh, uh, fancy grilled cheese that's made that's made at a restaurant uh, with a a, a uh, Michel, uh, four Michelin star uh, uh, chef. So yeah. that should be expensive. Like, yeah. anyways, moving on. <laughs> um, focus. <laughs> Food. So he says to you, "Look, I'm no, panicked." It is, fuck it. It... I made a deal with the dragon and the rider. What deal? Uh, Wait a how, minute. How, how, how best do I, do I do this? Sister, be quiet. Boy, be prepared for another casket. Federica, why don't you go outside and uh, see if anyone nearby needs any help? Seems like a great idea. Yeah. Why don't you help me, boy? And as she say this, she's like, you can clearly, see, like, see that she's like, yeah, that seems like the great idea for not adding more casualties. <laughs> All right, so he, he, he goes, so I, I saw that the dragon uh, killed my wife and, and I panicked. Found myself face to face with the, the, the dragon and his rider. Uh, right there in the thick of battle, and I begged for my life. I I I I I I, I said I would do anything in return. And it took me off the offer, and he said he would spare me and leave leave Alta intact in exchange for some information on some other settlements. That another information. That's it. I was, I was trying to protect my people, and, and uh, I didn't want to die. It's uh... it's okay. It's okay. You did what any rational person would have done to protect simply... one's life and one's village's life. You simply survived not... the rest of the forest. Frederick, uh, shut up. <laughs> you did what anyone rational would do. Just tell us what you told. The dragons and any information on the dragon and rider that you have would be appreciative. Uh, I, I don't know who this the rider is, and or or where where they're staying in this forest. If they're even staying here, I mean, it's dragons, so it's probably could range a while. But you know, with the, all the followers, who knows? Uh. But whenever I go to meet them, it gives more information. I watch a dragon flying off on a course of deep southeast. Then, Where do you normally meet them? Uh, just, just a little west of here. Or a little east of here. 
I did Fast notice up. that the uh, uh, the rider's clothes and hair were often wet. They flew southwest. Southeast. Well, at least now we know where to go. Um, if could you tell us where this meeting spot is? You said it's east of or west of here. Yeah, I can show That's... you. It's east. It's east. It's east. And then what? Okay, so the dragon went southwest. No, the dragon went southeast. East. I said west initially, but but then I'm like, no, they would cross over where the village is if they were flying in. So yeah, I was about to say like side. unacceptable. Okay. How dare you make mistake it, win? <laughs> um, what information? I am not Matthew I... Mercer. <laughs> Even him makes mistakes. <laughs> I was about to say, you've seen some of his streams? They, he makes mistakes too. Um, yeah, but, but, but a lot less mistakes. Than that, dude. Uh, but sometimes they're a little bit bigger of mistakes. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So, what information? Uh, one, uh, can you do you remember the size of the dragon? Could you say if it is more of an adult or? Like, me. There's, okay, that's fine. Um, what information did you give them? Yeah, I just told and, you some some things about some of the villages nearby, like location, population that, density, and, well, and the only other things was uh, the uh, just. Some of the things I knew about about their defenses and such. Is there any village they seemed more keen to than others that you gave them information on? No, we, they pretty much uh, um, asked about pretty much any any all of them, or it just seemed pretty random. Nothing in any specific order. Do you remember how many villages? Well, they only asked me about a couple. Um, what were they? Two or three. Like Mary, Do you remember? Gollum? Wait, Gollum? Gollum's name of one of the villages? Yeah. Well, you kind of asked for names, so I had to make some up. I was gonna say it's like <laughs> Colin. Like I'm just like throw, just like coming up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was just like. What are Elvis? The town names. I don't know. Just just whatever comes out of my mouth. It's okay. Don't worry. Eluen and Voronu. You need to spell that for me. Yeah, I prefer the other one. You're gonna make trying, up some stuff. You better know how to spell. I'm trying to make things that sound elvish. He gives you a like two elvish town names that are in the misty forest. Okay, it is very um, misty. Uh, misty. Is there anything north? Misty town misty south. Town. <laughs> oh, uh, misty town or the dare. There we go. Yeah. Um. Misty any other if? Um. Mistyopolis. Uh, um, can you? Houston. <laughs> New Mist uh, City. <laughs> can you um? Saint Misty. Tell us uh any other information. Mistyopolis. <laughs> Miss. All right. Miss Chester. <laughs> Miss okay. I like how Crib is the one getting us back on track, not the DM. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You people are uncorrigible. Misty Perrier. Now I'm starting that's to what makes this that's what makes this uh D D session amazing. It's, so uh, I'm starting to like get Minnesota town trying to think of Minnesota town names and just put 
Misty in there? Mishakopi. Mishakopi. Um, uh, that's fairly fair. Yeah. Um, so if you're going to do that, uh, Misfil. Um, Mistigan. Mistigan. Lumi Mist. Mm hmm. Um, Missington. Um, Miss Bear Lake. Miss Bolt. <laughs> like, we can do this. The, the two people from Minnesota. <laughs> like, we can go through this shit. Hold on, um, let, me, let me pull up Wikipedia. And, no, let's, let's move on. It's like, shit, you need Wikipedia? <laughs> Well, all right, just get, get the whole list of names. I can. <laughs> anyway, I'm out. I, I'm fucking out. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, is there any other information that you can give us that would be helpful? Not that I can think of. Okay. I mean, um, I did tell you the worm speaker's uh, uh, clothes and hair were often wet. Yeah. Um. That was kind of odd. That is very odd. Yes. I, I, I mean, it may be, I, be misty in the misty forest, but, you know, it's, I mean, this is wet, not damp or moist. Not soaked. Um, Some people they think of it as, as a really da a really gross word. I don't think moist is that bad of a word. Um, okay. Is there any place east of here? Like southeast, can I can the general direction they went that would give the rider his appearance? Like that's overly saturated with water. I mean, if you go far enough, you hit the moor. The moor. Uh, Just that's. But I mean, there's rivers. Yeah, in the forest itself is still there's a bunch of rivers and. Ponds and... But nothing that kind of like jumps out that would give waterfalls. him his appearance. There's a waterfall. Yeah, there's waterfalls. Um, but nothing that jumps out of you that would give this writer. Was it a guy or a girl? Uh, it looked male to me. But nothing that jumps out to you that would have given this writer his um. Overly saturated appearance. Nope, he had some sort of green mask on. Green mask. Look very dragon. Oh, a green, a green mask. Yeah. So, all right. Oh, I'm not there. Yeah. Fuck off. You, you'll learn about this later. Um. It's okay. That way, he's not gonna die. J J exactly. Go, and you can't do go. shit Ooh. about it. To the village. I'm just gonna make more oh, soap. <laughs> so, um, we, again, um, appreciate you for all this information that you've given us. Um, you did what you had to do to keep people alive. It is no easy thing to do. Do not dishearten yourself about this. Um, with that, me and Cyrus will leave, and um, I, I would have like pull out the map, a map, and have him kind of just give us general like, this is where the meeting spot was. Sure. Um, so then I would, uh, me and Cyrus would leave, and gather everyone and start heading in that direction and until we're a, a little ways away from the village then I'll tell them what's going on so no one can do anything Federica to um, harm him or let the villagers know what they, they did to whatnot. so um, covering bases oh I wouldn't dare do that I'm not going to leave it to chance you might this let is... something slip. Um, so. I mean, I thought Frederica had, had gone with you to, to see him, so he... he but I, at, before after he told us... Suggestion. But after he told... Before he told us what actually happened, I told Sister to leave. Oh. I so you. he... She actually didn't hear any of the stuff that he said. Oh, okay. 
I heard he, I heard he <laughs> he um he sold other villages for his life and the life of the village. And that was enough for me to be like, you know what? I think I've been called to the soup spot. Because it, it was it, as soon as Cyrus uh, had casted Justin and asked him to uh, spill yeah, the he, beans. He started to spill the beans and I was like, you know what? He was already there. Leave. We were just like, that's your leave. So. Um, but we're going to um, start heading towards that um but that he direction. Yeah. Yeah, let's just move on and find some dragon to slay. Catherick, uh, I'm you, you grab Catherick and says, <laughs> "Come on, Catherick, we're going to slay a dragon." Uh, I'm going <laughs> to uh, give my bowl back politely and say uh, thank you. It was good. He's pure. <laughs> oh. yeah. Zendralov's Zindrala, following along with Gisli. He's been here the whole time. Um, and you start heading southeast in the general direction. Um, Give me a couple. Uh, I would like two survival checks. I'm gonna. Am I gonna make one? Yeah, I'm gonna make one. Um, I'm proficient in survival. Well, make them then. Yeah, you can make one. Oh, God. Because I, I squandered the other one. Yes, I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to no, I forgot those stats. <laughs> here. Uh here, let's see. Uh Gizly's pretty good. Let's see what he got. <laughs> There's the first one. Cyrus is is, is just Wow, we all suck. Lost. We all suck it. Oh, you want two survival checks from all of us? No. No, I, no I, I, we're just I just want We're just to rolling to see who can do good. Yeah, we fucked up. We all did. No, Cyrus, you lost the right to do this a second one after that crit fail. Ooh, are we in the forest still? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, do you have advantage or something like that for your favorite dragon? So, uh, one more. Yeah, because you have advantage. Come on. Roll the you high number. Familiar one type, traveling and surviving in such regions. So do you get the roll. Yeah, I would you say you would have advantage, and you're okay. trying to. You're okay. essentially kind of trying to track. So. And navigate. <laughs> nope. wow, we seems just... to be. You, you said south southeast. Zindralov, he, he keeps like uh, correcting you all, being like, "No, that's southeast. We're starting to go like south, and now we're like, and we need to go. If we're trying to go southeast, we need to go back." <laughs> 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 He's just watching invaders. People are like just ignoring him. It, 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 you're 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 talking, meandering. Uh, uh, uh Guys, while this heading in with the thought, all of a sudden you, there's this the, the this trunk comes up and just kind of like nudges you back on track. Just all of a sudden, better like, yet, this... he, he, better yet, corralling everybody. He just grabs the map and flips it 180 <laughs> degrees. And... <laughs> just... Does the entire time oh. he's reading the map upside down, and he's like, um. It's upside down, you know? Oh, uh, that makes more sense. <laughs> I'm just used to roads. <laughs> and when your favorite terrains is road! <laughs> <laughs> and we Oh my back. god. <laughs> Can I do a ranger that their, their favorite terrain is cities? Is yeah, urban, urban out. Uh... An urban ranger. <laughs> hey. 
right. instead of in, instead of investigating animals, he investigate tavern wench. All right, let's let's see if we can get better on this next check. I would like everybody to roll me a perception check. Can you just kind of keep it in active? Active perspective on what's happening. Hey, Gizly did good. Zinderlove is blind, deaf, and mute. He knows direction. He's just not really paid attention to like the specifics that are around him. He just kind of gets the idea of where you're going. Um, wait a sec. Yeah, uh, Kriv got 11 because his passive's higher. Okay. But if your passive is higher, you don't get your passive. Uh, well, he he would have got passive. Yeah, what is, what is everybody's passive? 17. Okay. Me too. Yay. How come you have 17 passive? I, I will say we were rolling to see if you could get higher than your passive. <laughs> Uh, actually, I, ro I, didn't, I didn't roll higher than my passive, and Shota well, Boyd got his passive. Uh, so, uh, 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 boy, uh, 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 tugs at your 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 arm and says, "Do you hear that?" And then you, you kind of listen, tend to listen, and you hear hear. Um, uh, some sort of uh, feminine voice call out, help! Somebody help me! Cyrus would like to go. Yeah. To the person. Let's go. I mean, even if it's an enemy, it's not gonna change anything whether, like, we're helping it or not, so. Uh, you, uh... I think that's the first good thing I've ever heard Frederica say. You like, alignment-wise. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you you uh, uh, come come through so, some bush in the uh, direction of voice, and uh, you see a uh, tree, and I, and you see a woman with her leg trapped under, which looks like a heavily fallen tree. Um, she, she, tree. She looks looks sees you and says. Help me! Could you please help me? Oh, I'm just going to approach the the, the lady, take her hand, and be like, "Are you okay? Can I help you?" And uh, no, no, I'm gonna say, "Believe in me for a second, and I'm just gonna." Uh, Cyrus is gonna door walk over and cast Dimension Door. No, that's what I said. Like I'm gonna Dimension Door with her. <laughs> I was the one who went to her. We both did. Oh. <laughs> So we both tried to dimension the door. All right. I, I want an initiative from both Frederica and Cyrus. <laughs> I'm going to cast Magic Missile. On what? The tree Probably. trunk. And I'm going to move the gravity, and I'm going to move it 15 feet away off of her. Or, you know, like, the strength people could have, like, lifted it up. Yeah. Oh, look, I did it. All right, Gizli so with Cyrus, a Cyrus 24. would be able to, to get to the woman first. <laughs> oh, no, no, give me a second. I have advantage on initiative. It doesn't matter. Okay, so let's, let's back up. I, I, I'm calling it that Cyrus won the initiative tie. But, but, but I got a crit on my initiative because I was like, doesn't yeah, mean nothing on this. initiative. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you, so Cyrus, you you kind of flew over and and just touched her and dimensioned her away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you d d mentioned or I, I'm assuming you only go like. 10, 15 feet or something. You don't go very far, right? You just try to get her out. Yeah, I guess. Just not under her tree. Okay, I'm asking Cyrus. Cyrus? I think so. 
The cubby boy we're trying to talk with is currently unavailable. Cyrus, where are you? We can't hear you. Nope. No Cyrus. Bad Cyrus. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, 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 assume so I can uh, uh, continue. Yeah. Uh, you do that, and she goes... She... Uh, uh, Cyrus, are you sorry, there? I missed... Her. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so you, you just blinked her like a... You used the measure door just like a short distance. You didn't like... Yeah. Go 300 feet away. Or like that. Uh, you, she, she goes... Oh... Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. And then the tree that her leg was under uh, lifts up. <laughs> um, can we get it for Big Fudge? I mean, uh, normally, normally when I do something like this, n normally they, they they offer to actually help me, and then they. They tried to push the tree off and said, magic me a short distance away. It, For some reason, I don't find this very heroic. But I suppose it did help me out. Uh, so. Sorry, girl. We're on, a, we're on a tight schedule over here. This makes things so less dramatic. Well, we could have yeeted the tree I, away. Um... I mean, you, but you didn't magic me away. It's just, it, it it kind of doesn't go along the lines of somebody trying to help somebody in dire situations. It's like, well, like oh, I could put you back under the tree if you wanted. No, it's fine. Um, in any ways, <laughs> many in any ways. Still, how many might fall back into the fear of the sight of a stranger in the woods, or think? Or think first of their own before helping another. I got into my blessing anyways. Uh, Have you seen a she... dragon? <sighs> May our hearts prove true where others fear to tread. And she picks flowers from her hair that you swear were not there a moment ago. And twists her fingers to weave them into garlands as if by magic. And she lays a garland around each of your necks. Then suddenly transforms into an owl. Uh, her awakened tree servants, uh, you see two others move, uh, start stomping after her into the forest. Okay. Um, I, I had to, I had to get this. This would have been so much better <laughs> if, it, if it was all mundane <laughs> because of the descriptions. And I'm like, like, how would. How would this druid think think of somebody who didn't like physically try to do some sort of exertion or order, order to help her? She's like, oh, it's kind of disappointing, but it's I mean, fine. Still help. <laughs> Cyrus still could help. have Cyrus could have gone to the tree bark and be like, yeah, you wait half as much and just kick it away. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I do only have a 12 strength, so I could make it weigh half as much. Half as half of 500 pounds is still 250, and I can't lift 250. <laughs> I can. Gizly can. So here, here, here's what the description in here says. So, boy, so here's boy a, can. well, it, here's another thing. Say is, you could have all done it together. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> So it takes all your efforts to lift the tree, knowing that, that you put yourselves at risk if it shifts against you. But even as you are close to freeing the woman, the tree begins to rise on its own. Two other trees standing nearby shift back along the ground as the, as the elf stands and smiles, showing no sign of injury. You know what is the worst? Yeah, so would just like knock his knuckles and be like, "Let's do this." <laughs> you know what is the worst part, Cyrus? If you did magic missile the tree, it would have worked because it's a creature. Uh, yeah. 
And then you probably wouldn't have even gotten whatever this boon is she gave you. She'd be like, why are you trying to hurt my trees? You couldn't just lift the damn thing. <laughs> ah, never mind. Poof. Owl. Trees walk away. <laughs> so what did we get? Engineer, so. All right. So we just continue. This was uneventful. <laughs> Poor wind. <laughs> yeah. It, it may just be like, let's look at it from a different perspective here. You know, the way you did it. So you have to improvise. I mean, it's part of being D&D. The adventure does not survive the meeting of the players. And so she gives you some, some garlands that she magicked up. Anything special about these garlands? Maybe. You have to out yet? Identify. Uh, they seem to be enchanted with an ab abjuration magic um, against... Like... It, it, it's like invisible from certain animals. Yeah. Cool. Ongoing. Okay, <laughs> thanks, lady. Bye. <laughs> uh, also, uh, it, it seems the magic also uh, emboldens you against uh, dragon's frightful presence. Oh, that's nice. So I'm guessing we have like advantage on that or something? Or just... Uh, just... The first time a character wearing a garland is confronted by insert dragon here, he or she uh, feels a stirring warmth from the garland and automatically succeeds on the saving throw against the dragon's frightful presence. Nice. That's awesome. All right. That was probably about like twenty miles into the journey. Start going another nine-ish miles uh, down the road, or, or to the southeast, and starts getting kind of uh, well webby. Webby. Yeah, there's a lot of like spider webs around. All right, it's time to burn the forest. <laughs> it's it's not salvageable. Let's just new one. Guess what, gr Cyrus? Fire a fireball. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> you know how easy fireball. it is. You know how easy it is to deal with a dragon hiding in a forest. <laughs> Burn the, the forest. forest. Remove the forest. <laughs> uh, you can easily see the webbing from all the dew that's been gathering from the dense mist of the forest. And it's really hard to see. Hey, uh, can I use prime primeval awareness? Sure. Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, it it just says uh, <clears throat> you can expend one ranger spell slot to sense whether any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead are present within one mile. And I don't since get it's your location. favorite terrain, it's six mile. Mm. Oh, yeah. Which makes Rangers are fun. awesome. Perfect. Yeah. There is a dragon within six miles. Hey. Uh, uh, it's like, uh, I'm guessing six miles probably covers the whole forest. Nope. Forest is a lot bigger than that. Oh, okay. Cool beans. I mean, it kind of looks small on the map, but considering it's actually much bigger than that. It's, it's only not even 20 feet. Come on now. You don't know where in that six mile radius. 
No. You just know that it exists. Okay. Question. Hmm. How long has it been since dude's wife was eaten? Uh, ten days. Okay. Now this is a question for Kriv. How long does it take for a dragon to digest their food? God damn it. Oh my god. Um. But... Wind, help me out here. <laughs> Probably a little longer than humans. Okay. Something like a day, day that goes through a human system might still take like two, maybe three days, but depends on what it is. So she's been um processed. She was killed by the dragon. She wasn't necessarily, necessarily eaten. eaten by the dragon. So okay, the priest was swallowed whole. Do we have anything that belongs to the priest? Nope. No. Darn. Okay, then I don't have any more ideas. I say we just keep following towards the meeting spot. Have we gotten there? Sorry. Well, you, you had gotten the meeting spot a long time ago. Oh. And My bad. Yeah. The, the meeting spot was like just a mile or two. Oh. Uh, out, out of the village. And then from there you went southeast. That's Give me a second, you've guys. been navigating. Wait, oh. Uh, as you you start making your way through, you start seeing the webbing get a little bit um, thicker, and you start seeing um, seeing uh, various birds and other forest creatures um, stuck in webbing. Sucks for them. So. Uh, it's starting to get to the point where uh, you would have to like either cut through or somehow get through the webs even to, to make it through the terrain. What do you do? Are the animals dead? Um, some of them are. Um, I'm gonna take out my short sword and they just heave ho cut through one of them. Cool. Wait for Catherick. Catherick would try to help as many live animals out of the webs as he could. Okay. So while you're doing that, we're gonna wait for uh, for Eureka to come back so she can participate. It, it's a little bit before ten. Do we just want to go ahead and take a break? Yeah, that sounds like like a good idea. Pick five. Be yes. back and, um, well, let's just say 10 webs. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Take five. All right. Okay. All right. Be right back, folks. I need to refresh my beverage anyways. All right, sorry. Yeah, that's all right. We're 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 gonna take a break. Got <laughs> it. My Uber food was at the door. I hope they stayed far away from you. So, yep. Week. Well, be better than that, they left the food at the door. They just got like knock and ran. Yep. Perfect. As as they've been asked to do. We are COVID pos positive. Just leave the food and run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
leave the food there and walk away with your life. I wanted some cold soup. And by cold soup, I, uh, I, meant, I mean ice cream. Well, at some point, the ice cream becomes soup, so I would say that's yeah. fair enough. Yeah, yeah. You know, I really should do this like uh, StarCraft when I'm trying to spawn immortals or uh, stalkers. Zealots. Shit. Where is the other ones? Oh no. Um are you are you sure you just want to put this? I mean, we are level 10. You are a bit overpowered. Yeah, you could you can put something bigger than that if you want. Like if I remember, there's something like um, Spider Queen. I mean, I'm also just using it's like already given things. If yeah, I, I know, was like more of a uh, uh, I don't know. Like, if, if I was here longer, I would be telling you to shut up, please. But I'm not. So I'm not telling you to shut up. But at the same time, you you, you literally just said it. No. No, mm -hmm. I, I am not saying that because I have not been here for that long. But you said that you would want to say it. Which yes, if, at the same I time that you're saying it. Yeah, yeah, just let, it, let me tell you this. Yeah, go ahead and tell him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Is yeah. I don't mind. Anyone can tell me to shut up. I don't mind. I don't tell people to shut up for no reason. Maybe you you should. I don't have the guts. Ooh, ooh. No, I can't do that. That wouldn't work. Well, you could improve oh, this. You can improve this fight with this little creature called Face Spider. <laughs> Put a dozen of them and we're, we're toast. Yeah, I suppose that, that would be. <laughs> Fucking Face Spider. Face Spider. They're CR3 instead of CR1. So. Yeah, Spider Queen's only CR2. Mm -hmm. But she has a lot of. Uh... Oh no, she doesn't. Uh, of course, because it's not. See? Didn't really appear well. Oh, honestly, you can just put a token. We're not going to complain. What do you want, Alex? No. Je m'en fous. T'as pas voulu recommander? No. Get the fuck off. Pas de coucher. Tu matin. Ah oui. It's his first day since COVID. Tomorrow. Oh, whatever. No. No. Get the fuck off. Oh, whatever. Oh, really? Oh, that's a matter. I'm out. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, where are we, by the way? Um, this is like down here. There really Bottom. isn't a road. <laughs> this is uh, all yeah. actually, actually, this is just a tree, the foreground of what you're peering to. It's, it's like you're looking down from a, from a really large tree and there's a branch in the way. That's what that is. <laughs> nice. I like the idea. That's not a road. <laughs> The camera just couldn't get a full good shot. <laughs> this this giant tree just for some reason it's just one branch. It was I like your child. <laughs> it's time to do 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 do. do. Uh, I would actually say that you're you're probably kind of like right here. Oh, okay. Catherine is probably like somewhere in the back. Yeah, yeah. Ketrick can be right there. Yeah. Look at us and be pretty. Sin is probably like right there. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go top off the beverage. Um, Cyrus? Yes. I I said to Win that if he wants, he can upgrade this fight since, as, as I see, those are just giant spiders, which is going to take like 25 milliseconds and the fight is going to be done. But I'm not sure if he will. I trust him to do whatever he wants. Yeah, of course. I get to use my new weapons. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm you're just been. lucky. You're just lucky they're not in one fell. Actually, I can see a cobby boy going right there. Yep. <laughs> Don't you do that. Don't. Let me let me have my my No. I want to use my flail. Did it get to the point where you could pick it up? Yeah, because by the time we got back to uh, from council, time has gone. Uh, it was officially done. I got it at the end of last session. Okay. All right. Excited. Let's do this, bitches. <laughs> Well, oh, that's no. an appropriate place for a, for a cleric, actually. It's not bad. So, all right, key trick. It's your time to shine. Show us how you do this. We're looking at you. Wait. He needs to solo them all. It's not hard. Wait, that can't change because. Oh, I didn't pick us. Son of a bitch. Hmm? Can you make a click? I forgot to click us before rolling. Oh. Leave the. Um. Can you make a place for Gizly? He didn't do so. But he also has a plus zero on the initiative. Okay, I could go first. Oh, okay, he's up, he's up there. Uh, I drink. Gives those guys three. Oh no, you might. Um. Point five. It's like like the spider. Uh, 
Whatever we are. So as you're trying to make your way through the, through the webbing, you hear uh, uh, in, in cutting the webbing, you seem to be. If you you look, you can see the water droplets like vibrating uh, as like off into the distance, and you hear uh, some spider like <laughs> sounds. I like your imitation. It's the, the best I could do. No, <laughs> it was oh, great, spot on. Yeah, how I dare you? Go, how dare you not be a spider? Uh, I'm gonna take offense of what you just did and say it was cultural appropriation. <laughs> Can you see some species appropriation? Wouldn't it be a species appropriation? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have <laughs> culture as a spider culture. <laughs> it, it's it's so dwar dro 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 uh, culture. <laughs> Anyways, Crim, uh, you see a bunch of giant spiders and some uh, spider-like uh, humanoids. They're so humanoid-ish. Uh. uh <laughs> this, those are people. So we're gonna go ahead and um, save the people. Chris is just gonna look get a good little grin on his face, just like, all right, time to start. And I would like to rage. Ah, your metal from your your plate sink. This seemed to sink into your scales, leaving the, the, the single pauldron and uh, modesty loincloth. Um, and, uh, now your, your scales are platinum, uh, platinum in your head and gold and silver and copper and brass all over you. You are no longer a bird dra dragonborn. You're a multicolored metallic dragonborn. That's You're how, a gay dragonborn. That's how Papa likes it. All right. So we're going <laughs> to go right up here and I'm going to. Draw out my flail and just for the first time, just give it a nice brack at this boy right here. All right. Let me attack. I believe you got Cyrus is just gonna scream, "Don't hurt the people!" <laughs> <laughs> he won't. It's, it's, the first, it's first time. It's the first time. Uh, it's if that hit, ignore, ignore the nine or the six. I think it's broken. It does it, it does not hit. Alright. Number two. Still getting used to the to, to the yeah. flail. It's been a hot minute since he's used one. <laughs> Fourteen. Yeah, alright. Yeah, this time the the, the head uh, uh, hits and uh, this this like burst of light head uh, appears off of it. Um, yeah. so 21, or 23. How come 23? Because the 7 isn't, uh, is the fire damage, and my bulwark is not activated right now. Yeah, but that means minus 7, but, it's it's, 70, it's 21. Plus my rage damage. Oh, uh, because it's not included. Yeah. I just gotta know to add plus 2 to it. But you can add it, um... As, yeah, uh, that's a mechanical thing we're not worrying about right, right, right now. As long as he remembers, plus, it's fine. Plus, I, I'm rolling from D&D &D Beyond. Oh, uh, okay. There might be a setting in the Beyond 20 about it. No. Right. But you can check. Okay. Um, yeah, I can look now. Because mm -hmm. that is all I got. <coughs> oh. Alright. Thank Kelly and the spiders, but all of them oh. get a turn. <laughs> There it Yay. is. Add rage damage. <laughs> Barbarian rage. You are raging. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. So, when this one is going to approach, I'm going to attack it. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to do nine damage, and it's not going to move closer. So, no, no, not not this one. This one. Yeah. 
All right, here we go. Um, hey, Red! guess how many how many spiders are gonna try to bite you? They can try. One. Oh, it's whispered. It's whispered. Yeah. Was it over twenty? Uh, probably not over twenty-five. No, it wasn't. It was Actually, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Thirty-four. That oh. does hit. All right. Uh, take uh, uh, eighteen. Uh, is seven or okay? So so seven rounded down to three. Plus so be four. eleven. Yeah. Plus constitution uh, modifier. Um, save. Well, one yeah. sec. We'll get to that. We're doing damage right now. It, so eleven. It, it met rounded the down. The save is the poison damage. Oh. Or, 11, I would take up so 18 damage or 15 damage. Um, but I think you cannot roll lower than eight than 11. On the yeah, crunch. actually, actually, in order to get the poison, you would uh, the poison is determined by a con save. So, yeah, I, so I would make that because I even with a crit fail, I would make it because I have a plus 10 in constitution. Wow, yeah, that's the nice thing about his uh, armor, it, it yeah. his constitution when he enters into a rage. So um, it's just the four damage then. Yeah. Uh, but, no, you take half of that. So that that uh, is the four. So you take nine. So nine damage. Okay. Yeah. So it's four plus five. Well, the poison. I don't. That's poison damage. So I don't. Right, but you save. So oh, you take so I half take as half. much on a okay. successful save. All right. So forty-six, and whoever that mother fudger was. Oh, whoops. I'm at. You're gonna vengeful salt. You know it, because that is what it's for. Uh, so twenty-four damage. No, wait, no, 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 no. Twenty-one minus seven plus. That's right. Yep, it just happens to be the one that you hit was the second one to try to attack you. <laughs> Moving this way. <laughs> well, you can't see it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, so we got uh, a, a spider number three. At oh, one wait, one. no, that did add my damage. Okay, okay, I forgot it did add the two. Oh, well. Would the two have been detrimental? Uh, like, it I was just... only at three health. Okay, then it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. I forgot, it rolls the damage now. Yeah. Okay. 15 does not hit. Okay. Uh, and one more. 14 does not hit. Um, we're going to go to... Boy. Two on... Two on Gizli. Uh, 23. <clears throat> I think 23 Does 23 hit, hit Gizli? Yes. Okay. Uh, so he takes four. You must make a con save. Uh, he's gonna make that because his con's plus. Or it's plus seven. He could still fail, fail it. Oh, he could. It's a DC eleven. Yep. He nope. Makes that. So he takes a uh, four, uh, fourth. Eight. Yeah. <coughs> uh, no. Technically, so. rounding seven down would go down to three, not four. Oh, you round it down. Okay, yeah. I thought you'd be like half round up. Yeah, go to go to three. So that would be um, seven. That would only be seven points of damage. Um, and bite two do him thirteen. I'm assuming doesn't. Nope. Okay. Cool. We got um, one of them can't move close enough to bite, and uh, one to boy. What? 22, I'm assuming hits. Yeah, 22 does hit. I need boy to roll a con, con save. Yeah. Uh, wait, something is wrong with her. What is she? So I'm gonna have to roll it. He's gonna fail it. All right. So full time take... Takes uh, 20 points of damage. Damn. He doesn't have uncanny dodge, does he? Yeah, he does. Okay, so he can un uncanny dodge that through to half it. He will. 
All right, and that's the spider's turn. Cyrus, there's a lot of spiders. There are a lot of spiders. Look at them! You're also five, technically ten, within five feet two, of one. Five. Look at I'll take I'll that. take the opportunity attack. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> as long as you leave some for me, I am fine. We it. must save the ones people. Keep them alive. They they look hostile to you. Uh, I don't give a shit. They are going they to be put into a bubble. They they attacked us for study. Cyrus, you know. They're, you better okay. whisk that one away pretty quick before I try to go after it. Yeah. Chris is raging. Cyrus better throw that Pokeball. I need a deck save from all of one, these two, ones three, in a four, line. Five. Six. And the Speeple. <laughs> And the one's people. The Sperson! Uh, <laughs> the Eater Gap! Okay. The Eater Gap! Uh, what's, what's the DC, by the way? 17. 17, okay, miss. Miss. Uh, that one succeeds. The DC one succeeds. is dumb. Uh, one more. Uh, that one fails. Uh, and one of them. Uh, that one fails too. Let's turn that poster off. This one's mine, bitches. So, fail. First one fails. It's a 38. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two of them are alive. So, we got. I Actually. need to redo, look at my numbers thing again. Okay. So, that one done. Dead, Wait. dead, alive, alive. <laughs> Dead. Uh, I'm surprised I had to use a vengeful assault on a giant 30, spider. Thirty-eight <laughs> is sixteen. No, nineteen. It's, it's nineteen. Yeah. Nun tun. Nineteen. Nineteen. Dead. And thirty-eight. <laughs> Fifth level lightning bolt. Cause that point why out not? Stops. Cause why not? Exactly. Thank you. All right. Anything else? They, nope, that's everything. Okay. They cool. dared exist. All right. Uh, I'm going to just move this to the side so this guy can come up and climb over the corpse of the uh, spider you just killed and attempt to attack you. Uh, Bring it, bitch. Uh, tried to bite you. Oh, okay. Oh, <gasps> credit. He, he hit me. All right. But half so, of the poison. Two. So that's nine. So that will be four plus four. five. Well, no, the total will be four. Because it's nine my, uh, rounded down. Half rounded down. So that's four. Plus the poison yeah, that. Four, four, four for piercing, five for, for poison. Because you would. Uh, you you auto save because your uh, uh, thing is insane right now. Constitution save is insane. Okay, so how much do I, do I take? Just. Just tell me the number. Nine is. damage. Nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, now it's just with its bite. Also attacks you with the claw. Actually. As I was telling one of my, the guy that's going to draw a Kriv. When in fight, when fighting, Kriv's a monster. But he's on your side, so it's okay. <laughs> That's that one. This one's. We're gonna come up. Uh, think that the spider has has the little one in hand, and he's gonna try to attack the bigger one. Twenty-three hits. So seven. Two twenty-threes. Wow. Rolling good. 
save. Ooh, not so much. Okay, so we got ten and. Why did seven. you? Why did you roll Zinderlaws? Because he he was uh, the spider was attacking Zinderlaws. Oh, I thought he was attacking Boy. Oh, my bad. No, because the spider like this one is taking care of Boy, so this one decided to uh, go after Zen. Yeah. Spider's Sorry. got the. The giant spider's got the little boy, uh, so the little spider person uh, ish thing, monstrosity, sure. is attacking the bigger one, so. No problem. I was uh, not. So that. There's 10. Oh, wait. No. So it's 10. I'm using the right one. Minus 7. Because it didn't crit. Just. Rolled the crit because he was doing it with advantage. Uh, oh, wait, there's more uh, ether caps. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, so we're gonna come over here, uh, make a couple of attacks against uh, Crave again. Uh, hit. Crazy. Three, um, you don't take any poison damage. I'm just gonna call it that. <laughs> well, also, um, I forgot. I have resistance to fi uh, poison right now because of my um, aura. Wow. wow. Oh. So That's... I should have been like taking like a lot less damage. <laughs> so two damage. Yeah. Uh, and nothing from these. These freaking spiders are actually hurting me. Like, what the fuck? This one's gonna come over to the other spider and attack Gizly. Uh, probably miss and a miss. Yep. All right, now it's Catherine's turn. And look, Catherine, no enemy in your paws. <laughs> okay. Oh. They're all still the twitching nice on is... the ground because they got zapped. These <laughs> two are. This one attacked me, so it's mine now. So save these. These two for me. I'm claiming them. Well, he's got also got a, a few that are closer I, to him, so... Just just in general saying, these two are mine. Has this one been hurt? No. Okay, well, I'm yep. gonna shoot it anyway. Uh... <laughs> you can do it, we believe in you. Oh, that didn't... Did it? No? Okay. You really died. That's that. Uh, 14 to hit. And 14 hits. And uh, I'm going to use my reaction to increase that damage. Okay. I can do, do that at level 10 now. Yay. Nice. 1d10. Oh, uh. They, 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 yeah, so how does the, the feature work, Cyrus? Um, when I see someone make an attack... I use my reaction to increase it by 1d10. Because I increase the velocity of the attack. Alright, so just, uh... Alter the so gravity of the attack. 5 yeah. normal damage, and then 7 more damage, and then 6 more damage. Alright. Uh... Which comes to... Uh, 18. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It hasn't been damaged yet, so ignore that 7. So 11. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Two um, That's alright. It's still pretty good. Do you have extra attack? Yes. Okay. Do it uh, it's been hurt now. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> that was my plan. Um, <laughs> I, I hurt you. I'm going to hurt you more. Again. Usually I can just click that and it would just... You can do it! Yay! Sometimes, oh sometimes, it, sometimes it has a delay. This time it's the full, full thing. Okay. Uh, there we so, go. Yeah. Twenty-five to hit. 13. That will definitely hit. So thirteen damage. Ooh, it's not looking good. And yeah, that's my turn. Yeah. Cool. Oh, actually, I would like to uh, move back some. Uh, uh, Get some distance from these things. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. 
Cool. Uh, the, these guys are dead, so if you wanted to move like away this way instead of stepping closer to this way, you're welcome to. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Federica. Hit the cap right next to you. I'm going to attack the setter cap once. The eight hit. Oh. Uh, nope. Then a six won't. <laughs> Still getting used to this fact that you're no longer a button blood hunter. <laughs> Ooh. Angles. <laughs> just, gonna, some, like, of the, some of the some of the that it. are around the forest are just getting in the way of your long glaive. Frederica is just having an off day. I'm just gonna be like, oh no. I Meanwhile, mean, Valdon Vel Vel pulls out and flips over <laughs> sometimes. Oh, um, see I'm, me. Going to, I'm going to action surge. Okay. And uh, as the action, I'm going to uh, coordinate attack with boy. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead. Going to attack this one. So that boy can coordinate attack with hit. Okay. It's okay, boy. You're gonna do. You're, the job. you're getting used to the fact that that there is just Vulcan, Donkey Boy versus a dragon. All right. So. Meanwhile, he, he uh, stabs once. And I think he has another attack. Yeah, no, but he's gonna do something else, though. Okay. So uh, he's gonna add the twenty-one damage of the sneak attack. Oh, oh yeah, he's got the. Sneaky That's boy. That's within five feet of him. Yeah. <laughs> he has two. <laughs> Sneaky snake. But uh, he's going to <laughs> bonus action. Uh, no, it's not his turn, so he cannot use his bonus action for a second attack. So um, I'm just going to yeah. do my. He doesn't second have extra attack yet, uh, at all. No, rogue don't get it. Oh, okay, I thought they did. No, it's sad. Oh, the dagger, dagger, dagger was because of haste. Never mind. <laughs> uh, thirteen hit. Uh, yes, it does. So twenty-five damage. Alright. And um just going to move right there. He can do his opportunity attack if you wish. And I bite you. Misses. Yeah. And uh that's it for me. Alright, boy. Um, boy will attack this this one there we go so, um, nice and dead he's going to move is he a dick no he's not a dick it's gonna move there and attack this one what are you thinking? Is he going to steal your kills? He would get a tough like Crib is raging right now. He might uh, not do something. I, I will point. I will I will say this. Yes, he would do that. <laughs> then you have your answer. <laughs> it is. Uh seventeen hits. That's the damage. Uh, does he get sneak attack for that? Because he didn't sneak attack on the first one. Oh, I suppose. He only gets one turn. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, it's dead. He's going to obliterate it. So, so you see, uh, with his, uh, 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 with his keyblade, for lack of a better, better term, he he stabs the already uh, no, this, this injured was, spider. This was the dragon tooth. Yeah, it, 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 I, I'm narrating his entire turn. Oh, okay, sorry. He he, he quickly j jabs 
the entire uh, the uh, already injured spider uh, putting it out out of its misery, uh, uh, yanks it out. Um, quickly steps on top of the the spider co spider corpse, uh, runs across across it with his dragon tooth pointed pointed down, just jams it right into the to the uh, head of the uh, giant spider and lands on the ground. And he goes, yeah! <laughs> boy, when I say the kill is mine, the kill is mine. You go, boy! You did good! Uh, <laughs> Zinderloff goes, oh, jeez, I'm a little hurt. <laughs> He just like uh, 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 he uh, uh, touches himself for 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 your wounds. Do that later. What? Like, come on, man, we're in the middle of a battle. <sighs> uh, <laughs> he just like slowly inches his hand down his pants. <laughs> no, no, he just touches his chest. Uh, just... Chest. Oh, no. Ch yeah. Chest. And, and and he looks up and his eyes flare. Uh, and um, a uh, where is it? Where, where did I use that image? Do I have that? I, I think I have to pull an image for my thing. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, I know, because this would be cool. Oh. All of a sudden, this little little uh, uh, goblinish guy appears right next next to uh, uh, over here <gasps> and, and attacks the uh, <laughs> attacks the injured ether cat for his <sighs> mighty. <laughs> As he casts spiritual weapon, uh, where is it? And his spiritual weapon is the little a gobble. goblin. Gobble. Uh, I did that. It, yeah. Uh, that it, it, that took a late hit. Second level. Sword. Here we go. Uh, and and uh, kills it. <laughs> Oops. Uh, the the spectral. The spectral image of it, of this little goblet with a, a large sword. Or, did he have an axe? I don't remember. Uh, he had a, uh, was, a great axe, but it's technically axe. a battle axe, but it's a great axe in his hands. Yeah. He goes, Yeah! Dabo. Alright, Gizly. Um, he I, is I just went get... looking for something I saw, and I'm like, oh, let's use that. <laughs> I'm trying to get his attention because he's playing Final Fantasy XIV. And I'd be like, yeah, "Go see this." Uh, gonna go ahead and attack this one right here. Um, as he um, in this as for because the way he's going to bonus action activate his um, his great sword, but it's mm -hmm. kind of going to be one of those like in the middle of the swings, just yell Ixen, so it's like erupts into flames as the swing is going through. So, just just for visual visualization. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll. Like, there we go. So 23. Uh, it definitely hits. And 18. Still alive. Do it again. There. <laughs> is that is that 26? Am I reading that right? 18 plus 12. So, and 26 damage, yeah. 26. No, it's dead. Yeah. It's, it's, it, because that's all it had left. <laughs> exactly about. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, what is this thing? It, that is... Uh, <laughs> that's Cinderella's spiritual weapon. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It's our new companion, the goblin... It's also Mate. it's also uh, uh, mighty, mighty. <laughs> it's a mighty from story. out of the abyss. Uh, so, Kriv's uh, gonna um, 
activate his flame shield and attack this boy. Guys, I am really disappointed in our performance. They lived the first turn. Yeah, okay, we made it through a round. <laughs> so, 27? Yeah, I know okay. it's not my fault, because I missed four times. And then, since it's still alive... Mm -hmm. um, for, uh, he's actually going to... Grab out his um, short sword that's on his back, and then go ahead and try to plunge it into the spider. So offhand attack. So it just minus his proficiency, right? Well, to to to, to what? Because this is dead. This is dead. Didn't you just use your bonus action to activate your shield? I get two attacks. He's got an extra attack. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but extra attack, you can do it with your main weapon. Yeah, but he doesn't want to. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, because I have two weapons. Uh, this is the whole thing. Um, I'm still attacking the one I just attacked since I, it's not dead. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then it's just a, right, a roll with my attack modifier minus proficiency, right? No, you would do it normally. You're, you're so proficient a, with the short sword, right? Yeah, but since it's an offhand attack. It, it's If it's the offhand, it's on the damage that you, ha you don't have your... Um, your oh, you the damage is where, where my okay. Okay, sorry. First time I've ever done offhand attacks. No so. stress. That's gonna hit. It's not um, a dragon. It's just spiders. So then, just my uh, eleven damage, because it is tax plus he, six. Yeah. It's, uh... What do you mean, lightning dragon fang? It, it, that's is there an name. That's in. Is, is that activated? Or is it it, it's, always? It's always. It's always. So. But it's 12 piercing. 3 lightning. Gotta... Minus 2. Well, and then plus 3. No. Well, minus 6. Because it's proficient. His attack modifier. Well. It says plus 6 on here. Because uh, it says yeah, 1d6 plus 6. So, yeah. Because when did the plus six go away? No, because the plus six is should be your proficiency plus your uh, strength, but your strength Which, is still there. Okay, so then my well, that does make sense because it says plus six, but it should be a plus eight because my strength is four and my proficiency is four. Hey guys. I'm getting a phone call from the hospital. I think it's regarding my roommate, so I think I'll have to step out for a bit. Okay. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, if I can't come back, I will. Okay. okay. I'm sorry for... No, that's okay. Hey. It's, it's okay. a hard moment yeah. for everyone. No. Things happen. Sorry, I just saw your message just because of everything going on. Um, so, All good. then... Yeah, so I'm just I trying will get back on if I can. I'll okay. see you guys later. Ciao. Okay. Um, so I'm not understanding why this is then doing that. Because what's your proficiency right now? Plus four. My strength is plus four. But it's, when I do like the damage, it says one d one d six plus six. Magic. It's uh, non mat. Uh, it's a non-magical item. It doesn't item. have a plus, so... Yeah. So it still should be plus... At least plus... Well, okay, then that does make sense also for the Dragon Star, because that says plus five. Alright. Um, so... It would... Minus two from that, so 15. So 15. But there's... Yeah. Look at it later. <coughs> okay. Barely alive. Okay. And that's everything. That's the worst part. Barely. Barrier. Uh, let's see. Magic missile, Cyrus. 
It's not Cyrus' turn yet. Oh, um, uh, no. I'm just going to attack Izzy again, because that's what I was attacking before. I'm going to use my reaction to attack it. That's going to hit. So it's... Uh, Fall piercing and uh, con save to figure out the poison. Doe. Is he alive after 25 damage? Well, you, you didn't hit him. Oh, with 11? 11? Nope. Yeah. yeah. Sad. You, you, you hit him, but it wasn't hard enough to actually do 20. it. 20. So he, sa he saves, right? He saves. Okay. So, so 12. Uh, the, yeah, so... 12 for the piercing, and then um, 10 for the poison. Ooh, he is looking rough. Let me just check something before that. Uh, I think there's something I can do. If no one has any objection. Uh, no, I, I think for a reaction like that, you can only take a regular standard attack. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that that I I, I agree. I thought I could uh, use um, my circlet st uh, stuff to add plus five, but it's that's a reaction. Okay, since you're using the reaction to make the attack doesn't work. Exactly. All right. Voila. All right, Cyrus. Iris poops out of existence. There's nothing like magic missile at this point. Mm. Oh. oh. One. Two. Two, 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 two. Three. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I got all the numbers right because for some reason that says zero for something. <laughs> I don't know why. So, uh, two uh, bolts of what looks like some sort of like stinger bolt bolts of force uh, come through, hit the, the giant spider, killing it, uh, and then it hits this one and kills it. <laughs> For the third one. Because it can. Uh, this one he goes, yep. Uh, it disengages in this way. So you're out of combat. No, it's <laughs> Shatan is going to uh, follow it through. Can I try shooting it? Yeah, that works too. You work first. Yeah, you've got the range. You can't go that fast. Uh, <coughs> I, and uh, you, you take careful aim as it's, as it's moving. <laughs> the arrow uh, I mean, it goes stuck to, to the back and it goes, ah, and it falls down. Uh, and not... then you see from the corpse uh, a little tree start growing. Yeah. Um. Though I d I didn't play Hunter, so Colossus Slayer is it the name you decided for the ability or? No, no, that's a, uh, that's that's uh, one of the things. Yeah, it's um, it's for the Hunter subclass. It, does it apply to uh to anything? Yeah. Yes. I, I believe that's... I believe it's anything as long as it's missing health. Um, pretty neat. So it is. Catherick would like to uh, help out all the uh, stuck animals that are alive in the webs. Uh, yeah, you would probably also know that these are probably not the only ones in this area. So. Yeah. Um, you can only do that once per turn. As I can. Yeah, most of Sorry. the uh, most of them are already dead. Well, I would check if 
they're alive, and if they are, then I would help. Mm -hmm. And then, um, after all this, uh, Kriv kind of calmed down. He's going to go up to uh, Boy and whack him upside the head and be like, don't do that again. <laughs> Try to hit. <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, to be like, you did good. He, uh, boy's like, <laughs> and then, ow! <laughs> Because it's not like it's it's not like one of those those smacks that that actually does damage, yeah. but it hurts. <laughs> it's one of those um like if you ever seen NCIS um, just like when he, the guy just smacks him upside the head like knock it off just. He's going ow, <laughs> like, like sorry, Uncle Crib. And as soon as Kriv turns around, uh, uh, you see him go. Yes, he's not. I love my boy. So for for those uh, who are watching, um, I was writing another game uh, called uh, for Out of the Abyss. And one of my players that were, was playing at the beginning uh, had its character Mighty, which is a Goblin Barbarian. And this was his token. So. And what is there? Oh, uh, and it was. And he's the whole thing like battle axes. And, stuff. and it was him. The one yep, we it, found the camera. The one that was just with me. That, that was my, my cuppy. That was his player. The my, future hubby. My cuppy soon, soon to be hubby. Hubby, cubby, cubby, hubby, cubby, hubby. Patent pending. Uh, Cinder Lab's gonna come up and let's see. Side of rage, so this, this. uh, Gizli's gonna need some heals, um, to save spell slots. Uh, he'll just lay hands. Oh, okay. Um, because otherwise, that's an ability that never gets used. <laughs> So he's at what? He's at he's currently at thirty eight. Alright, so that's twenty nine he needs. Just about half of his. Yeah. So he should be topped off. I just gotta write that down because I don't have full access to his sheet. Yeah, I mean, you can do it on his uh, uh, roll 20 sheet. You should have access to that. Yeah, I uh, just does it show his full. It shows that one. So total is 50. Right now, he, he just used 26. 20, what do we say he used? 28 of it? Yes. So. Just... It's probably the best way to, to, to keep track of that. Yeah. Yeah. And his spell. Like, I just have to, like, look and see how things are just because. I wish I could drag that to my other monitor. Why is it saying that? Just because I don't know how to do all this. So. No. Uh, 
Okay. All right. And I uh, create mm -hmm. good bears. Sure. I will make four of them. Oh wait, doesn't it? Create... I think it makes ten it. on one cast. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah it's I'll, up I'll to just, ten. I'll make ten good berries. Um, if anything, you guys have food. Awesome. Nummy nummy food. And we're gonna take away cure. Okay, so I can actually do all this here. Figure out his spells later. <sighs> so, forget to reset. I will. I will, uh. Um, um, um. Present the berries in my hand and just offer them. I walk up to everyone and offer them to each and every one of them. Uh, Zindralov, thank you. Thank you uh, kindly. And Boyd looks at him and goes, What's this? Berries. You can... Berries. You can accept it. It's going to fill up your belly. He, he go uh, heads and eats it. Mm. Mm, that's tasty. Oh, wow. Filling. Um, if... Krev's going to thank Keithrick for it. And go ahead and pop it in his mouth. Um, and just swallow it whole. Because it was probably like a blueberry type thing. Yeah. Yeah, just doesn't even have to show it. Um, berry. What does it do again? Um, uh, it heals you one hit point. One. Which is... And, and uh, it makes you feel full. Uh, actually, I can... There oh. you are. Whew. That is one hit point. But it also means you you you're nourished for the day. Yeah, yeah. you feel full. You're fine. Which is oh, probably four. something I should have been doing. And oh, but it, we're so used to have like enough food for everyone. So this is super nice. But Crib's also going to just lay on hands for the remainder of his, so he's topped off too. Because again. Why not? Otherwise, it's a belly that goes to waste. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, if Zin for some reason goes down, it, it's one. Yeah, it's one of those things he doesn't use in like he'll he might use in combat, but fun. outside of combat, it. Um. Every time I save a animal from the webs, I'll give them a good berry. Even oh. if I have to cast it again, I'll. To give them one. Yeah, you, you don't find many. There's probably uh, three. <laughs> there's three. Yeah, there's there's literally three. three. There's a that's all the good berries. <laughs> you, that is you, all the good berries. There's a a um, must have been a wandered off fawn. There's a, um, a couple and a couple of birds that are no. still alive. But otherwise, they were all dead. You did see a doe, um, uh, dead in one of the webs nearby to the fawn. So you can call this fawn Bambi if you would like. Onward. All right, let's keep venturing. Same direction we were going. Alright. This is the fun part, and this is probably just because. Uh, let me actually pull this up so I can see. Just because we're getting to a good stopping point. Um, since. Uh, Cyrus is done. Cyrus is not here at the moment. Uh, you end up finding a a big pond a a pond with a uh, waterfall falling into it. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Okay, 
Okay, it's, uh, we understand. Um, so that's why he's always wet. We don't know. There, it's just that's a waterfall. Sister, that's Sister Frederica's speculation. There might be something behind the waterfall. Exactly, like, oh, that's why. <laughs> Bless you. Perception. Mm. Yeah, we have said we like before, do. like we um, like continue on. We maybe had like during the whole time that um, Keithrick was saving animals. We taken a short rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get my vengeful assault back then. Yeah, yeah, we do short rests. Short rests are useful for me. Same, because like my dragon breath, my breath weapon, and my vengeful assault get refreshed after a long, uh, short rest. Yeah. Sadly, not my rage. That I need a full rest. All right, it, who all has dark vision? Just remind me. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of us. Yeah. Besides uh, Zen, or maybe does Zen? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't think Zen does. It's okay. He doesn't need he it. He does not. He's got. He's got light. <laughs> yeah. He can smell apparently. Uh, Keithrick, because Keithrick's what? Well, you're a half elf orc, orc. Yeah. Yeah. He. I know they have dark vision. I do. Cyrus, uh, Federica, Gizli all do. It's all sixty feet, right? Yeah. Bless your luck. This devil sight. Or a twilight cleric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twilight. If that was only available when we started this. And well, you can always change. Dustin had the mindset to have Crib start as a barbarian. Oh well. If I had the proper mind on how things were gonna go, possible go, I would have done so many things. There we are. Can you see that up in the upper left? Big, uh, yep. Yay! The little wand, wand. waterfall. Little waterfall. And, waterfall. and, and like, little, I, I think, I think this is a good stopping point since we don't know when Cyrus is gonna be coming back or if he's coming back. Oh my gosh. Did I not bring us back from from break on the thing so everybody just listened to all that? Oh, I am a really bad streamer. So what happened? Everyone was just hearing the um the, the hearing right us back. go. <laughs> it just it had the be right back screen still. Oh, and they just heard us. Yeah. yeah. So you could just hear us. Don't worry, guys. You didn't miss anything. This is spider fight, but yeah, we, we are are arriving at the uh, uh, dragon stronghold or lair or whatever you want to call it, and and they got a thing. So. Yay! So sorry, it's a little shorter, but hey, it's we're only off by an hour, hour early. That's not bad. And we actually started on time. Yeah. So that was shocking. <laughs> Cyrus, yeah, Cyrus got here before the DM did. True. It happens. All right, folks. Uh, thanks Just for watching. Um, I had yeah, forgotten. I had forgotten to uh, give uh, Boy his uh, turn ability score improvement. Oh, but he got... okay. So, yeah. So he, he just had nothing. Um, so I just gave him Lucky. Well, no, I'm not sure yet. But probably Lucky. Yeah, that works. That's a good one for a rogue. Yeah, it's a good one for a rogue. Beside, like, it's it's either that 
or I give him... No, actually, no. I'm going to give him Fighting Initiate and um, give him a um, Fighting Style. Okay. Which makes sense. It's going to be two weapon fighting. Like, you know, learn to be a humanoid. <laughs> Learning to be a humanoid. <laughs> yes. You, you do know that, that once you guys get get back uh to where uh laid in lemonar he's gonna be like telling him stories about the adventures right uh -huh, uh -huh. oh yeah how cool things i did this thing where i stabbed a spider and I jumped over and went yeah right into it it was awesome i stole crib's kill he smacked me upside the head <laughs> lady goes serves you right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Chitant would just start, just shove him, and the lady would just shove him back. It would turn into a little scuffle. Yeah, that's it, brothers. That's... Brothers. Yeah. Brothers. <laughs> You're a rassle. Remember, the the, the <laughs> he looks like an eight year old with Duncan, but he's not even a one year old dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and to to be fair. Um, he's be, wearing uh, is the armor he's wearing doesn't look like an armor. Like he's not. You you look at him and he's not wearing any. It's just clothing's glamour. <laughs> the wonders of glamour. <laughs> yeah, the wonders. Right in the stream. All right, good night, kids. Anyways. Uh